Hi guys, so I haven't done a talk through video in a super long time. Um, I don't know if you can tell my autumn wall is behind me now. And um, I wanted to do another fall look. Um, my last fall look that I just filmed earlier today that I need to edit um, is just going to be a quick, um, just like a really quick video, probably like six six to eight minutes long um, with some music playing up while I'm talking to you guys so hopefully you like this I realize that it is still summer in Texas but I am already in the fall mood and I don't even give a crap if it's hot outside because I will stay inside until it turns cold so yeah reality okay, so the first thing we are going to be starting off today is moisturizer um, you guys always know that I love to use the Garnier uh, Moisture Rescue. If you don't, use some coconut oil. That also works really well for dry skin. Um, it's just all natural goodness. Um, I've been using this just because it feels really cold on your skin. And um, I've been getting really poofy eyes lately. No shit. No shit. My camera's going to die soon. This is good stuff. Okay. So I'm just going to be putting some of that on my face where I know that My toes got that in my eye. I was real scared. That's why I had my eye closed for a really long time. I was like, no, don't open your eye. Yep, now it's starting to burn. Took a little bit. Took a little bit. Ugh. Get out of there. Okay. Now that we have that all done, let's start off with some brows, homie. And you get some new brow powder because the next uh, eyebrow cake powder is starting to get funky. Because... I use that every day, all day, every day. So yeah. Um, so what I'm doing is in the NYX eyebrow cake powder they have this like wax that you put on your eyebrows to just hold all your hairs together. That's what I'm putting on right now. Um, and for this look, since it's going to be like bold lip, I'm going to try and keep the eyes to a minimal because the main attraction is going to be my lips. Um, so I just want to make sure that my eyebrows are really nice and chiseled out. Okay, so I know I'm looking like a Helga from Russia. But um, I... Don't worry, this will match up eventually. Crossing the fingers, guys. Crossing the fingers. So in this little pot, I'm going to mix, mix two foundations. And right now, I've been loving the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Foundation along with the um, CoverGirl Outlast Foundation, Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. And these together just make the prettiest, like, foundation. It's not too drying. It's not too dewy. It's just, like, a really good mixture. And I'm putting, like, almost equal parts. Um, I find when I just, when I used to use the Outlast on my skin, um... I have dry to combo skin and so it would kind of like stick to some of the uh, like patches on my skin and mixing it with the Neutrogena um, skin clearing foundation it just makes it really like creamy and it doesn't cling to anything and so I'm just taking the end of like a brush and just mixing that good, that stuff up and, and it also makes just like the perfect color because the Outlast foundation is just a little too white for me and every time that I go and get like the Outlast foundation I still can't get one that matches my skin it drives me freaking nuts and the other one is also too dark so the light and the dark make the perfect color so now that I have it all mixed up in here I feel like that's a shit ton which is a standardized unit of measurement, guys. So, no judgment. Um, I'm going to um, just take a little bit of this baby skin um, instant pore eraser and I'm just going to put this in this area here. Um, just like in this area right here. And I don't want to put it under my eyes because I found when I used to put it under my eyes, um, the makeup didn't, like the under eye concealer and stuff never set well. And so I'm just putting it in the areas where I know I have, like, dry patches. Every time I touch my face. Every time. Just gets red. Focus. Okay. So now I'm going to just take my Beauty Blender, a damp one, and I'm going to just put this on with my finger. I don't like to dab it on with the Beauty Blender because it just doesn't, um, it doesn't spread out well. As well as it does with my finger. Oh, 
already so I'm just kind of doing that a highlighting concealing area but truly this isn't a highlighting it's just going to cover my under circles this right here this light pale is going to do all the highlighting for me and I just go right under that concealer area and put a nice little amount and then I do this like I always do going in with my beauty blender again Um, so we are going to be doing the eyes now, and I'm going to zoom in for this one. I am going to be using my Lorac 2 Pro Palette, and I'm going to be going into light brown in the palette, which is this one right here, and make sure to dust off, and then I'm just going to kind of like put that in my crease. I'm not being super specific because we're kind of doing like an all over lid color here. And then I'm going to take Mocha, which is also in this one, and it's going to be this one right here. I'm going to take that same blending brush just a little bit, tapping it off, and then I'm going to concentrate it in this, like, outer V area, just like so, deep in that area right there. Take the bait, the buff color here, and I'm going to put that on my eye. Okay, so I finished basically with my eye color. It's very light. It's very, like I said, it's going to be very minimal. And right now I'm going to work on the lips. I have not set my foundation because I want to make sure that it looks nice and clean before I set everything. So I'm going to be using my Mary Kay lip pencil in Plum. And basically, of course, it's what it sounds like. It's a purpley color like that. And I'm going to fill in my lips with this color. Picture. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know if you guys can tell. But it's not exactly precise here. This is exactly why I didn't set my foundation. I feel like it's coming off more red than it is purple. But it's totally purple. Okay, so I'm taking a small concealer brush, and I mean it's super tiny, and I did leave some of that um, foundation behind, and I'm going to go in with that and make sure that my lips are just really, like, cleaned up. Okay guys, now I'm going in with my Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Suede Lipstick in the color Backstage. And this one's just a really purpley color. And when it says Color Stay, I mean that shit stays. And I probably should wipe that lipstick off. Damn it, it already stained. Shit balls. Look at that. So when you have lipstick like this, you don't want to be that person that gets the um, lipstick on their teeth. So you'll take your finger and all of that beautiful stuff you see there, you just avoided it from your teeth. You're welcome. Um, so now I'm going to set my foundation. Now that I've cleared up and cleaned the area, I of course am going to use my Stay Matte um, Powder and I have Hit Pan Hardcore Man. I need to go to the but I haven't gotten the chance. 
Um, so I'm just going to set everything with this powder. So, now we're going to do the eyes. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. And I feel like I've been using Revlon today. Um, I'm going to just curl my eyelashes with my Revlon curling wand. Eyelash curling, not curling wand. So now that they're all curled and whatnot, I'm going to add, I'm going to do my waterline, my Maybelline eyeliner in Unstoppable in the color Onyx, which is basically like a black color. Oh, went a little out of there. <laughs> okay, so now that my line, my, Jesus, I can't even talk. Now that my eyes are tight lined, I'm going to add my mascara. And this is by Maybelline Line Stiletto in the color Blackest Black. Okay, now I'm just going to take my two favorite mascaras right now, which is the Maybelline Great Lash I Love Lashes and the Falsies. I'm going to put the Maybelline I Love Lashes as a base. And this one's just great for lengthening. Not necessary volume. Not, necess not necessary volume. Not necessarily volume, but it really just like makes my lashes super long. The brush just really gets in there. I used to hate this one, but then I fell in love with it in conjunction with this one. Then the falsies, of course, will make my eyes like long and voluminous, and it's just going to be beautiful. Sunny by NYC, and that's what it looks like. I'm going to take my Sony Kashuk um, contouring brush. Damn hair. I should probably stop fucking around because my freaking thing is gonna turn off. Anyways, yeah, that's hot. That's sexy right there. Okay, just look at that. How beautiful is that? I don't even. I just wanted to show you this simple fall look and hopefully you like it. Bye. I'm using my I'm using uh